How to fix Widevine L1 on any POCO device without having to root it. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how we can try to fix Widevine L1 on any POCO device without having to root it. Now, sorry for the cheap trick, but I did have to get your attention. And what are we going to do? Well, for starters, this is what we need to do. I am going to tweet out this tweet once the video is released. And all you need to do is retweet it and feel free to tag your favorite YouTuber. Maybe they want to retweet it. Feel free to tag Anuj Sharma, Manu Kumar Jain, Angus, these are the people from Xiaomi and Poco who brag a lot about their stuff on Twitters. So that is why we are using Twitter because Twitter is where the real action can sometimes happen, right? And yes, some people will tell me we do not have a Twitter account. I do humbly request you to create a Twitter account just to retweet the tweet. Link can be found in the description of this video now a few questions why are you doing this i am doing this because l1 has been broken on poco devices and i mean multiple poco devices which include the poco f1 the poco x2 and the poco m2 pro since december 2020 i paid for a device which said it had l1 support i did not pay for a device with the premise or with the assumption that after two years or say after six months it is going to lose wide wine l1 support that is what i paid for next up a lot of you will say poco f1 is an old device they no longer support it absolutely fine do not give it software updates i don't care but we got l1 for prime hd and we need it back it's been broken very simple that is not software support you should have told me this beforehand i would have made my decision then it is a basic assumption that l1 is going to work out throughout the life of the device which is not happening over here next up why are we tweeting nothing is going to happen and that is my point when one person tweets they don't listen nothing is going to happen but when thousands of people shout on top of their voice, which is as good as retweeting on Twitter, then maybe, just maybe, one of these people who are tagged in the tweet, they notice. And if the big YouTubers who you tag, they retweet, might be forced to notice. And the other advantage you get is you get to know which YouTuber is actually true and loyal to their viewers and subscribers and care about their issues and which one is just a glorified salesman sitting there to be an influencer to sell you whatever company gives them more money or more freebies or more free devices so you get to know that also next thing you will say is hey manji just 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 stop with this f1 issues my point with respect to that is somebody needs to hold these people accountable. By these people, I mean the Xiaomi's, the Redmi's, the OnePlus's. Somebody needs to hold them accountable and call them out. And that's what I am doing. If they are doing something wrong, I have full right to call them out, even if the device is old. And the problem with L1 is not just the Poco F1. I have linked uh, C4E Tech Ash, his tweet. He tweeted about the Poco X2 camera failing. And in that one, the L1 topic came up. And from there in, you have examples of poco x2 poco m2 pro other brands also it's like they rent out wide wine l1 from amazon or from someone it's like a workaround after two years it stops working so this this bs it needs to end and maybe maybe we can change it maybe we don't but my point is we don't have anything to lose right we already have lost wide wine l1 you are not able to view netflix or amazon prime in hd already so if a retweet can change it if tagging your favorite youtuber influencer can change that i see no harm in doing it and no harm in trying rest as i always say your wish your money your phone you want to buy a new one be my guest <laughs> 